<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am, I am, I am, I am, um, uh, um, this is not going to be a, uh, this is going to be a short video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to talk about something. Obviously, there, I, I'm trying to do, a, I'm trying to make a video every day now, but obviously not a lot to talk about tonight, you know, no, no basketball, no playoff tonight. Um, so I'm just going to, I was thinking, what should I talk about here tonight on the C show, you know, to continue to, to continue the sh to continue to make videos, you know, every day. I'm like, what should the hell should I talk about here tonight on the CE show? I was thinking all day to myself. I was sitting down. I was like, what should I do on today on the CE show? I don't really want to. I, I really want to do a show tonight because I, I I feel like the videos, the ratings are going back up. The views are going back up ever since the last 10 days, I want to say. I started making videos every day. So I'm like, what do I want to talk about tonight? Should I, what do I do? I, I actually do have a video on plan that I, I, I I'm going to have that one on Friday, actually. Um, so tonight, I'm just going to talk about, um, about a little bit of something I heard. Um, uh, I was, uh, um, uh, um, Tyron Lue, the coach, the, the coach, uh, of the, um, of the Cleveland has said that he is not worried about the Warriors. Because he says it is easier to um, um, pa um, prepare to, for the um, for the Warriors' offense than it is for the Celtics' offense. He's saying it is easier to it is easier to um, to to, to uh, prepare yourself for the for the Warriors' offense than it is the Celtics' offense. What the hell? So this dude is. What is he trying to say? He trying to say that the Celtics have a better offense? What the hell is Tyron Lue trying to say right now? I don't get this. Why would you say that? You okay? Look, first of all, they're already resting. They've been resting since Monday. You're still playing. You, you, you know, they they're twelve and zero. You already lost. Like, why would you try to motivate them even more? You just told them that they're that. I mean, they're not even gonna believe it. Who the hell would believe this? But you just told them that the Celtics' offense is better than theirs. Like, why the hell would Tyron Lue say this? I don't understand. Is, is Tyron Lue what the? Is, is, did, what would Tyron Lue say this stuff? Is Tyron Lue smoking something, marijuana or something? What the hell is wrong with Tyron Lue? Why would he say this? That the Celtics have a better offense than, than the Warriors? Why would you say this, Tyron Lue? How could you be so stupid? You already at this. You, you you already um. They have the. They have the. They're gonna have the home um the home field. They they have the. They're gonna have the extra days of rest already. And you're over here saying stupid comments just to motivate them. You know they're listening because they're just waiting for you now. They're already done. They they, they they they're just waiting for you. So you know any they're paying attention. They're watching. I'm pretty sure they watched the game last night. They're gonna watch game five. The uh their focus is all they're already studying. They're already getting ready. They're probably already looking at games. They're probably already looking at film about how to play you guys. What would you even get them more motivated when you know they're gonna listen for sure? So all they're doing is looking at everything you're doing. Why the hell would you say that, Tyron Lue? That the Celtics have a better offense than they do, and you're not worried about them. You, <sighs> Tyron Lue. I think you're a good coach. Wanna? I think you're a good coach. I wanna say you're a good coach. I'm not sure though. You know, LeBron, LeBron James has been known for having um, not very good coaches, and just LeBron James just just being so good, he's been able to win a lot of games. But not because of necessarily because of the coach, but because of his talents, you know. Um, but I want to think Tyron's a better coach than some of like LeBron has had, you know. I want to say he's a top coach. Of, I I want to say I, I, to me the best coach LeBron James has ever had. I guess I would have to go with Edward Spoelstra. He's proven it, you know. Now that both him and um, now that both LeBron and both Wade and LeBron are both gone. I think Eric Spoelstra, oh, with nothing, with nothing, to, with nothing to play, no, no stars this season, almost got them into the playoffs. So I think it, to me, Eric Spoelstra, Eric Spoelstra has been the best coach LeBron James has ever had. Um, but Tyron Lee, you know, you want to change. He's the other, the only two coaches that you that he's won championships with. Um, Eric Spoelstra and, and, and Tyron Lue. So I want to say Tyron Lue's a good coach for LeBron James, one of the best he's had. But after saying this comments, I got a question. Is Tyron, is Tyron Lue 
Uh, Dom, if Tyron Lue, is Ty, what are you? Are you stupid, Tyron Lue? If Tyron Lue's stupid, why would you say this? That Celtics have a better odds than the Warriors. Why would you say this, Tyron Lue? Like, why? Why? So stupid, Tyron Lue. Now, somebody said that LeBron James, you know, he's so comfortable. He's not. He has no. He's no. He's really not that worried about the the the, the finals because he knows that they're that the the Warriors are going to be the favorites. So he's playing with like house money. They're saying he's he's gotten a little bit relaxed the last two games. He's not he's not too worried about it. He already brought the championship to Cleveland. They said at this point he said he's done everything he he's pre promised. He said he was gonna win the um championships. He's won three. He said he was gonna bring one to Cleveland. He's brought a championship to Cleveland. The guy has done everything he has set out to do. So they're saying that at this point he is just maybe too relaxed and that he is not gonna go super like. Like, he's not super worried about the whole Golden State thing, the, you know, the Warriors. He's just going to go in there and see what happens. You know, obviously going to try. But they're saying he's not, like, going to kill himself. Well, I hope he does because then we're going to have a bad series if it's just a five or it's just a sweep. But they're, they're just saying that a lot of people think he's just too relaxed. He, he's already brought, he already brought the championship that he promised a long time to go to Cleveland. He won two championships in Miami. And they're just, he's won, what, five MVPs? So they're just saying that he's just playing with house money and that he's not really going to be that stressed out about the finals. He knows that Golden State's a very tough team. He knows that they're going to be the favorites. And that, you know, they're saying that he's too relaxed. I don't know what the deal is, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. But I, whatever Tyron Lue just said right now is just very stupid. Um, I hope that they actually try. Because why would you play all this shit just to fucking fail there? Obviously, it's going to be very hard. Uh, to beat the, to beat Golden State um, in a series at a seven, that you, they, I mean, they better give it all they have. They they better give it all they have. I don't think they're gonna lay down, but some people think that they they're not gonna like kill themselves like last year. Like if they go three one, that they might they might not get so like motivated last year to try to come back and win it. So I'm hoping this finals it's a good finals. But I have heard some things that LeBron James. Is not that motivated as he was last year because you're just because CLG just what he just brought the championship last year and obviously it's gonna be even it's even it's even gonna be um it's even a better Golden State team this time around even better Golden State team around with the addition of Kevin Durant so LeBron James knows that last year it took seven games to beat them so this year. It, and with Kevin Durant, they may not be able to do it. So I hope this is not all true. And I hope that they actually try and they actually think they have a chance to win. And I hope they actually win because I really do not want to see Golden State win a fucking championship because especially it's not going to be a competitive series. I have had it with this shit with Golden State. I have not hated it. I don't hate them. I just... They ruined the seed. They ruined the, the, the league to me. They have ruined the league. And our only hope is Cleveland. Our only hope is Cleveland, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, it's just going to be one of the most predictable seasons of all time. This is supposed to be fun. Like, you can't even bet on these shit anymore. Because you know what? I talked about it earlier a few weeks ago, a few days ago. You cannot even bet who's going to be in the finals. Because you just it's just too easy. You already know. Now, all the way back in November going into the season that it was going to be Golden State versus Cleveland. It's not like the NFL where you can, you, you can bet on the Super Bowl in September and in the World Series. You can bet in, 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 what, in March. You know, you cannot even do that anymore because it's so predictable this year. We all knew it was going to be Golden State versus Cleveland. So our only hope of the season not being that not being as predictable as it's already been, if it's Cleveland, I don't know if about an upset. I don't know what you would call it. They, they, are, the, they are the champions. But if they beat, Cle they, if they beat Golden State... That's our only hope. But I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Tyron Lue, why the hell would you say this, Tyron Lue? Why the hell would you say this? I don't know if Tyron Lue is, is smoking something. I don't know what the hell it is, but why would you say this? Just why would you say that the Celtics have a better offense than them? Why would you say that, Tyron Lue? Why the hell would you say that? Just, I don't understand. I know this video is kind of uh, just, you know, I did... 
You got you guys are probably not gonna like why the hell would you even do this? Whatever. I just trying to make a video, whatever. But at the same time, why the hell would Tyron Lou say this, Lady Pink Jamming? I don't know. And let's hope for our for our competitive finals. Let's hope Cleveland actually is full on it, one hundred percent going at it, you know, and they actually make it as serious and possibly win it. Let's hope. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Um, I'm already thinking I might make a video when the season's over of a third. There needs to be another, at least like one more team, you know, to compete versus um, Golden State and Cleveland. And I'm already starting to think, you know, who could it be? You know, because I, you know, I'm thinking maybe Chris Paul is a free agent. Carmelo Anthony is trying to get traded. You know, LaMarcus Walter sucks, you know. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of shit, you know. I'm thinking of teams, you know. Lakers maybe, do they just want to spend I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. I'll make that video in the in the in once the season's over. Who could who could be the other team that could compete with Old Golden State in Cleveland for next year? So it's not this boring because it has just been very boring and very predictable. So that's what I'll be doing once the season's over, thinking of how the hell you can make at least one more team. So then it could be a three-team race, like it was back in the day when you had um, the Lakers, the Celtics, and Cleveland. Okay, and San, even San Antonio. You know, you had. A, you had Le you had um you had LeBron you had Kobe you had you had LeBron James in Cleveland you had Kobe Bryant in the Lakers you had the big three in San Antonio you had the big three in uh you know and and Paul Ray Allen um Paul Pierce Kevin Garnett you know and it it, it, it was it was not it, there were some very good teams you know but it was not predictable you could have scenarios who was gonna win it Lakers Celtics. Cleveland, San Antonio, this year, no. Possibly San Antonio, but we all know what happened. Once Slander went down to Marcus Soldier show that he ain't about shit when it comes to the bright lights. We all know what happened. I'm not even talking. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I apologize for going so long. I'm just very, very frustrated with what has happened this year with the 2017 NBA season. And let's just hope Cleveland wins it. And like I said, let's just hope next year there's at least one more team. So it's three teams at least. Because this is just too predictable. And it's... I don't know what to say, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. At this point, WWE may be a little bit harder to to guess. That's how predictable the NBA was this year. Even the WWE is probably going to give you a lot more surprises um, than, than, than the NBA right now. That's how it is. You know? When the, when, when the NBA is more predictable than the WWE, you have a problem. Trust me. If you don't know what the WWE is, um, it's... Whatever. You should know what the WWE is. If you don't know what the WWE is, I'm sorry. Um, until next time, I'm the man that runs the place, as you already know. Um, um, what else can I say? But uh, whatever. Um, until next time, I will catch us on the road. And um, that's all I have to say. Tomorrow, I'll be back for the post-game show between um, Boston and Cleveland. And Friday, I will have another video, obviously. And we'll see how much we can continue this shit. Now, especially if, if tomorrow it's over, then we're gonna have about a week off of basketball off and, and NBA playoffs. So I'm not gonna know what I'm not gonna know what how to do for an entire week. But I mean, I'm gonna try to come up with some videos. Comment down below if you want me to talk about shit. You know, what the hell would you want me to talk about? If you want me to talk about your team, you know, what whatever sport it is. Um, if you want me to talk about, well, tell me if you have an idea. Of what do you? Hey, the, the next few days that there's not gonna be basketball, I would like you to talk about. I don't know, um, the NFL, my team in the NFL, I don't know. I will be doing season previews, but that's not until the summer for the NFL, so don't ask me that. I'll do those in in um, in the summer, so I'll be doing those in the summer. And, you know, let me know let me know what you want me to do if you have any ideas. If not, whatever, I'll figure it out. But it'll be helpful because, like I said, I'm trying to make a video every day, and if you guys, it, it would be... It would be maybe a little easier if you guys, hey, hey, say, may, hey, CE, fat ass, make a video like this. Talk about, I don't know, um, talk about, I don't know, like, whatever. Just tell me. Any sport, whatever. I mean, whatever. Anything. Um, if, um, until next time, I will catch you guys on the road. I need to shut the fuck up. Bye. See you. Hello. What the fuck? Shut off.